I, I had trouble envisioning what video was really going to do for me. I mean, let's face it, my background would be much more as a receiver of video, you know, watching television, watching movies, uh, and sort of enjoying the message coming in, receiving the message. Not my area of expertise to be putting the energy out through video or trying to communicate something through video. Uh, my communication was much more in the written word, you know, uh, writing, writing papers, writing, you know, a dissertation, uh, writing a book. But video was just foreign territory that way. And so even just kind of picturing what I would want to try to convey or how I would present myself, uh, you know, I'm not an actor. I don't have that kind of background. I don't have that kind of comfort being in the limelight that way. So that just was totally unclear to me in the beginning much more of a left brain kind of person and you know my fascination with the brain led to you know becoming a neuropsychologist that just doesn't look sexy on camera I just couldn't picture how you would communicate that and build a, a professional practice that way so I had to figure that out and, and uh, figure out how to how to create a visual image that could make sense as a way of communicating I've always been a right brained actor type, get up in front of the class. I wasn't the class clown. I wasn't always that creative, but acting and performing, I know that's hard for you to imagine as you're seeing me here, but I got my first camera. I think I was five years old. It was one of those brownie cameras. I can remember handing a roll of film to my mother after taking all these motel doors and clouds. And I got my first economics lesson when she said, where's the money to pay for it to be developed? I didn't know why they didn't just jump right out of the camera. But I learned the value of video early on. What is the value of video? If you're halfway around the world fighting in a war and your child is born and that message is sent to you on video, what is it like if a disease is about to take your life and you give your last talk in front of a packed auditorium and you can leave that video for your wife and children. And as a kid, I watched the landing on the moon and taking the first step on the moon. We'll always remember that. That is so ingrained in our brain. Why? Because of the video that we had there. And how about your favorite sports team? Last night, that goal, that basket, that hit, that run. How important is that? It's nowhere near the same if you just are told what the statistics are of the game, seeing it. You feel like you're there, you're living it again. Video does that. It's like nothing else except being there. And the same thing happens for us when we can tell our message. It's as if we're there, one-on-one -on -one with somebody every time. That's a reason that I really love video.